So what about the experience of being traveling in China as a vegan or vegetarian? Um, free words, tofu, vegetables and rice. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna take us around a one hour driving there. Wow. Yeah, when we arrive there, uh, we will have a local guide there and this local guide will lead the way. It's a non-stop walking. Yeah. Hello you guys, this is me and Paula here. So we are waking up in Chongqing city for our first time and we are heading to a touristic area, as I understood. After that we will have the hot pot, uh, traditional hot pot from here. Hopefully we can have our own pot because, yeah, veggie pot. Because you know we don't want to mix it with other meats. And that's it for now. A good night of rest in a room that had a heater. First, they had places in a room that was without heater and I complained about it. And I was like, no, nah, please change us to a room that there's heater available. And we had the, 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 the shower and everything was comfortable. Hi, our financial center and Tianjin. Tianjin is neighborhood with Beijing, very close to Beijing. Yeah, and now Chongqing. Chongqing is a new municipality and also the biggest one. Yeah, how many, uh, do you know how many people we have in, Chong, in Chongqing? 40 million. Yes, no, not 40 million. Uh, 30, around 34, nearly 34. Yeah, 34 million people. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> We came to this place which looks very beautiful and traditional, kind of architecture style over here, as you can see. But it's so cold and raining. Okay guys, this it's like being in Disneyland but without attractions and it's like kind of an old China Disneyland. So today we are here, I'm so happy because maybe I'm meeting some subscribers. She said maybe is my subscriber. <laughs> okay, so she's a vegan girl and this is the vegetarian vegan table. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Uh, England, like Australia. And are you living in China? No, just traveling. Just like traveling. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Yeah, it's very nice. So, what about the experience of being traveling in China as a vegan or vegetarian? Um, free words, tofu, vegetables, and rice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is not that hard, it's just that sometimes it's super oily or like, you yeah, know, the flavors are... <laughs> a lot, yeah, a lot nice. of people when you say no meat, they're like, do you a little bit of meat okay? So they'll be like, yeah. eat the NDN, it's fine, and, then with that, and you order like a bowser and then it's got a little bit of meat in it and you're like, oh, yeah. And they, yeah. Don't, they don't understand when you try and take it back, because they're like, it's only a little bit of meat, doesn't matter. That's not the point. Or oh, it has fish. Yeah. Oh, fish, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's good. Kind it's of good. Overall, it's good. I think it's quite easy. Like, yeah. if you know how to say it, it's easy. Yeah. yeah, it's not as hard perhaps as elsewhere, and you can also find a lot of fruits in here. Yeah. Fruit, it's yeah. fruits heaven, so oh, at least yeah, we yeah. have that. <laughs> not like Europe somewhere else, but it's so expensive. Yeah, it's good. And <laughs> um, the thing is that Chinese sometimes will think like there's no meat on it, but the, the juice or the soup is made out of exactly. some kind of meat. So we are having today Chongqing's hot pot speciality uh, here. We have some oil here, which supposedly we have to 
like I wasn't vinegar. Take it with the vegetables. That's what's the vinegar. Yeah, sure. Can you get another? Yeah. Oh, you got mushroom. Oh. Mm. Do, you, do you know how to say vinegar? Food. Food. Yeah. So this is our vegan vegetarian table, and we have um, all our groups all around eating like, just like the normal kind of diet, which is a lot of meat and spicy food over there. So I'm so happy that we have the choice. Okay, so we have to go and make our sauce. Okay, for our surprise, we have also pumpkin congee and other kind of soups, which are fully supposed to be and must be. Okay, so we have made our sauces here with some sesame seed and what is that? Cilantro? <laughs> I can't get the mushroom. Uh, how to? How to? <laughs> I'm really bad at using my chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, they're, it's so <gasps> how to say it? It's slippery. Very no. slippery. Oh my god, that's a massive garlic. Okay, the rice arrived. <laughs> like rice. <laughs> and we have Classic this vegetarian. sweet potato. Oh, it's so good. They're really good. Nice. You know, China is very popular for the sweet potato, so that's something that you can find on the streets during winter. Ni hao, menu. Tashi ga transu. Chu sai tianjin de yiga niu hai zi. How? Ni jue de zai chong guo, chi su rong bu rong yi. Mm,比较容易还可以,可是你得,你得告诉他们。告诉他们很难,他们不太明白你不吃什么,是不是?对对,嗯,可是,你要是你想跟他们聊的,你可以,嗯,like,多说,就,就,get what you want. Uh,鱼也不吃,鸡蛋也不吃,每一个都会,说饭也不吃,鸡蛋,哦,所以有时候,有时候很累,嗯,对对,还是还可以,yeah,we're uh, uh, making friends and being so happy here, because we have found some dry people. I just met Sarah here in the trip, and we are eating hot pot, she's a vegan as well, living in Tianjin, and she's studying Chinese. She's from Cherry Plavik. She's so nice. Oh. And yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. From Chongqing. We love. <laughs> we finished our lunch with the girls. <laughs> our vegan vegetarian group for the trip. Hello. <laughs> So we had a great lunch because of the great company, of course, we met those girls and they are so nice and so happy that we can be sharing with them the whole trip, our future meals, vegan, vegetarian table, yeah, and it's all girls, you know, like having fun. Because this uh, this area, the name of this district is called Chuntan. So this uh, this bridge is up on the Yangtze River. And now we are passing by another bridge. And this bridge is called Chao Tianmen, Yangtze River Bridge. Wow, it's also Yangtze River. And on the other side, that's our downtown. You can see on the other side, there's lots of high-rising modern buildings. It's called this river, Changjiang. Yeah, Chang is Dong, L-O-N-G, Dong. Chinese river. Uh, Chongqing has four nicknames. The first nickname for Chongqing is Mountain City. Mountain this city, city is built on very mountainous. So in Chongqing, most of the road is quite narrow and steep. Yeah, so uh, we call this city Mountain City. Wow. So because this is a very mountainous area, over 30 stories. Wow. Fog City, F O G, fog, always cover a thick layer of fog. Yeah, so that's why we call this city Fog City. That's the second nickname for Chongqing. Look at this beautiful Chinese building here. 
this Chongqing city is really, really beautiful. And what it makes it more special is that there are so little foreigners over here, so it's kind of, you know, an explorer. So right now we're gonna go inside this Chongqing China Tree Gorgeous Museum. And this is so big. Okay guys, I want you to look at this beauty over here. I feel like it's a kind of big, big library, but it's a museum. Yeah, it's so beautiful over here. And we're waiting for our guy to give us a tour. And this is the view from inside this place. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well to leave me your lovely comments below because I'm going to be very excited to give you a heart and a reply very very soon. I'll see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you wish become Patreon.